Greetings all, it is I, Samuel Farron, and welcome back to more Let's Translate Trails at Dawn. Last time we started, well, we did a bunch of like, kind of side questy things uh, here, but this time I think we're probably gonna, well, we're gonna finish a few side quests, but we're also gonna do some story stuff, I think. But I don't know, I haven't played this game, so... Wait, actually, let's start it with uh, the next uh, character event. Wait, I've already done that one. And uh, this one's called, uh, well, it's, it's from Rune, it's called uh, An Invitation from an Old Friend. There's actually a description there too, but I, I can't be fucked to read that. I'm gonna just, oh, I'm sure I'll find out as soon as I click it. And we will get to see Agnes's uh, second one, but only once we've done all the side quests, because when you get, when you do all the side quests, you get like, uh, you get an extra bond point and it's just saying the same thing it always does. Uh, so, <laughs> what's all this calling me out so suddenly, Rune? Don't call me by my name. Uh, I can't believe we're having this exchange right off the bat. Uh, you really never change. Well, yeah, it's not like your name's changed, but if you do uh, change names, then I'll start calling you something different. <laughs> okay, whatever. But yeah, I, I figured we hadn't really met in private since, uh, I exchanged contact details with you. And so I figured I'd uh, call you out while I was like on a break. In other words, you got nothing to talk about, honestly. And what's with inviting me to a coffee shop? Don't men usually talk over like drinks, like alcoholic drinks? Yeah, that does sound good. Uh, maybe I'll save that for next time then. But unlike you, I've uh, got a lot of work, so I can't just go around drinking freely like that. And also, I do have something to talk to you about. <laughs> uh, isn't it, like, normal for, uh, like, an older brother to care about, uh, someone who's, like, a younger brother to him? Uh, honestly. I mean, nothing's really changed. I'm still just, uh, barely getting by, as usual. Oh, and also, you got a new, uh, like, recruit in, and they were, like, related to Heiyue, too. You got quite a lineup of under underworld like faces, uh, excluding the young lady. <laughs> I hate how you uh, always bring up stuff that I haven't even told you yet. But anyway, they all just rolled up <laughs> by themselves. They didn't even seem to care what I wanted. Honestly speaking, though, I kind of preferred being alone. <laughs> you say that, but you seem to be enjoying yourself a lot more than usual or than than you used to. <laughs> oh, I see. You're a sundere. Kind of, uh, painful to look at since you're already in your 20s, though. <laughs> it's, no, it's not that. Uh, honestly, you guys never change. Elaine, too. Huh, you're the same way, I think. Honestly speaking, though, I think that your part-time employees will be, uh, like, good for you. After all, we don't want that to happen again. And I speak for Elaine as well. Hmm. Oh, uh... Is that not like someone contacting you for work? Oh, don't worry about it. But anyway, you still have time, right? Uh, I'd like for you to stay sitting here just like that. Until you finish drinking that coffee. If you want, you can even order some uh, sweets. Uh, I'll like treat you to it today. Hey, wait, what are you? Uh, don't stop like small talk and don't like crease your face. Just act naturally. I guess we're being watched. Yes, uh, the person he's talking to is in our data. I'll uh, contact you again. The hell? Oh, he's gone. Uh, was he, like, watching you? Huh, good guess. Uh, yes, there is no problem. Please, like, continue uh, as we planned. Uh, so this was your, like, business you had with me, huh? <laughs> Don't power like that. Uh, I was like, I did really want to hear about, like, how you were doing after all. I'm not pouting. <laughs> uh, that guy's called Hubert. He entered CID about a year and a half ago. Mm, you say that, but he seemed like he's, uh, like, been through a lot from what I could tell. Why would someone like that be, like, staking out your analyst ass? Oh, wait, wait, okay, so he's saying, uh, 
he may be a newbie, but he's not like a newbie to this like business kind of thing. Uh, he used to be in the like Empire's like information bureau. Wait, Huber is. I think there might have been a special episode about him in Trails into Reverie. I think it was in Lecter's one. I think he was like betrayed by someone. Was it was it Huber or someone else? I can't remember the name. I remember it was really fucking hard to understand. That's what like stuck out stuck out to me. The uh, information bureau in the Empire. Uh, that thing that like uh, got reorganized a while ago. Yeah, that Huber guy gave up on the Empire after the Iron Blood Chancellor lost his life and the war ended. So he betrayed them and came over here, offering us information about, like, uh, their reorganization. While still formally uh, being a citizen of the Empire, though. Wait, so you're saying he's a double agent? Yes, as far as CID is concerned. Wait, what do you... I think he's actually a triple agent, or triple cross, uh, as it's written there. And it's possible that uh, him betraying the information bureau uh, was a lie, and his true goal is to get information on us and, like, mess us up. <laughs> Under directions from uh, the new head of the information bureau, Lecter Ar Arundor. I've heard that name before. He seems to be a pretty smart guy. Yeah, even after the death of the Blood and Iron Chancellor, uh, he's been like supporting the Information Bureau as like its new, like center. He's really difficult to deal with. Oh, never mind. It didn't say here the leader. I don't know where I got leader from. It just said like Lecter, uh, Lecter Alan Arundel of the new Information Bureau. It didn't say leader or anything like that. We've sent over many spies to the Empire after the war, but almost all of them have been, like, erased or, like, uh, bribed by that man. He's really giving us at CID the runaround. Hey, but wait a second. The fact that you even know that means that... By showing them uh, myself meeting with you, I can, like, uh, mess up their information network? I mean, I'm planning on setting that guy up as a quadruple cross, or a quadruple agent. I'm looking forward to see how the Scarecrow reacts to this. <laughs> oh, honestly, I don't even understand what's going on anymore, it's too complicated. Also, stop getting me involved with your stupid intelligence wars, you poor-eyed fiend. Oh, come on, don't be like that. I told you that I'd uh, treat you to as many, like, sweets as you wanted, right? <laughs> That's not, like, worth getting involved in this shit. After that, <laughs> to get revenge, Van uh, ordered, like, all of the most expensive sweets on the menu. But uh, King K didn't, like, seem phased at all by it. <laughs> and after being amazed at uh, how his old friend, like, uh, does things, he returned to his, like, work. <laughs> he said, I'll make sure to make use of you uh, going forward as well. Dexterity. Yeah, that makes sense, coming from him. He does seem quite dexterous. I wonder if he'll be a party member too. I feel like I might have seen something that led me to believe he might be a party member. If so, then he'll probably be like grey, won't he? To recruit him, I mean. Well, anyway, that's all the side episodes uh, for now. We, oops, wrong one. We will be doing Anya's, uh, but only after we've done all the side quests. Let's, uh... Wait, 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 wait. Uh, this is the only place we haven't actually been yet, and it's where all of my side quests, like, yes. converge. I think. And also, I think we might run into some story, because we still haven't gotten our main quest yet. Yeah, look at all those markers. It's just, like... I remember the movie theater was uh, where we end this one side quest. I might as well just do that now. Hello? Are you the guide? Uh, the something something like theater, that's what was written in the thing. I imagine it's uh, like talking about the uh, the guide of this cinema esprit. But do you have a moment we're like taking part in this, uh, this riddle game? Are you the guy that has uh, the final key? 
I never thought anyone would, uh, make it as far as myself. Indeed, I belong to a certain troop, uh, that has been hired by the Edith, uh, like, kingdom. I've been waiting for someone to come along and, like, collect the keys. Uh, that's new. Uh, like, you're actually waiting for us? Uh, that's, like, different to the other guys. Yes, uh, I have a few reasons for being part of this troop, but I used to be, uh, in the Knights. And my loyalty for the Edith Royal family hasn't changed. However, I heard a rumor that, uh, a certain lord was, like, planning to capture the princess, and so I, like, uh, pretended to help them out. However, I couldn't stop them by myself, so I looked for, uh, someone to, like, entrust this key to. I didn't think we'd, uh, deal with a secret agent in this. It's kind of, uh, interesting. Okay, then, uh, I would like to give you this final key. Uh, Van got the final key. Yeah, I got it. But, uh, judging from what you said, do you know the identity of the Lord who, uh, like, was responsible for this? Yes, the one who kidnapped and, uh, has sealed away the princess is, uh, uh, Count Iota. Don't we know a person called Iota? Oh yeah, it's, it's the guy from the Orbal Cafe. The truth is, that Count has been mistreating his, uh, people on his land. And the royal family wouldn't stand for it, and so they punished him. And thus, the Count didn't like that and, uh, plotted this, uh, like, crime to get revenge. I see. However, there is a butler at, uh, Count Iota's, like, mansion called Ilhan, and he, uh, shares my resolve. If you, uh, hand over the three keys to him, he should help you save the princess. Uh, please, I leave the rest to you. Uh, leave it to us, well, uh, we won't waste these keys that you gave us. Ah, you are like, really getting into it too. <laughs> yeah, I kind of, uh, like, forgot myself. <laughs> Alright then, so the next place, uh, is... We need to go as, uh, like, Count Iota's mansion. Iota and, uh, this butler, Ilhan. I feel like I've heard those names before. And it doesn't seem like a riddle, but we will have to, like, search for where they are, I guess. Uh, I feel like there was a place with that name and, uh, where the owner was called something like that, too. Yeah, let's, uh, wander around and see if we can find it. Wait, yeah, was Iota the name of the Orbal Cafe? Let me just check real quick because I'm interested. And then Ilhan was the guy that helped us out on the other side quest. Yeah, the name is called Iota, yeah, okay. So I guess Iota wasn't a person. <laughs> it was just the name of that. Well, anyway, we still got stuff to do here. Uh, I can't wait, is, is it here? Oh, this is where the bulletin board is. There is a fourth brigand request and it is from Amy. And it's uh, from like my I think my boyfriend who's gone missing, uh, is what it's called. Uh, my boyfriend has been missing for almost a month now. Please, uh, help me, like, search for him. I'll be waiting, uh, in the, or, like, next to the Brothers Music Shop. I think. Alright, and I, I guess we've, uh, gone around all the, like, uh, the bulletin boards that, like, smell. Uh, so we got three this time. Anyway, I want to do at least two, so let's, uh, get going. Okie dokie. Wait, is that here? I guess so. Wait, so there's, uh, oh, this is the Tyrell news. So the chief editor is, uh, this lady? I kind of figured it would be a man. Uh, yo, you're the chief editor, Salivan. Uh, we've got a certain request and there's something I'd like to ask you. Oh, well, if it isn't, uh, people from Arkride Resolution Offices. Well, I'm still a reporter, so I can't just, like, give you information for free. Uh, why don't you tell me about this request first? Yes, it's, uh, about the terrorist incident that happened 20 years ago. You should know about it. Yeah, you've done a good job investigating. I guess your name is- you don't, like, put your name as Spriggins to shame. Uh, very well, I'll cooperate with you. Exchange, I'd like you to tell me how this request ends, okay? Or, like, how you, like, fix it, kind of thing. Uh, are you gonna, like, make it into an article? Only if it seems like it'll make for a good story. If not, then I'll, uh, just, like, keep it to myself. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Alright then, uh, with that, we've struck a deal. First off, it's true that I'm still investigating, 
that uh, case that was never made public, both for the sake of uh, the people that died in the event and also to keep putting pressure on the anti-immigrants like faction. And so naturally I know where Roderick uh, lives. And so where would that be? After becoming an adult, he became a businessman and uh, he's been like on the come up and he's going all around the capital like doing uh, like business negotiations and stuff. I've actually reported on him a number of times, not just as a survivor of that case, but also because he's like a talented businessman. Uh, that's amazing, like father like son, I guess. If I uh, contact him on his phone, he might like uh, say it's okay to meet with you. Uh, you want to do it now? Yeah, please do. The Sullivan from uh, Tyrell News, uh, like, thank you for the other day. Uh, I got an appointment for you. He's actually uh, right, like, near here. Uh, he said that he'll wait for you by the terrace near the, uh, like, near the station. Oh, that's uh, perfect. But he has a condition, or more like something he wants you to do. He would like you to bring the uh, the owner of the locket and the one that who uh, requested this of you to see him. Hmm, I guess that like makes sense. But who knows if Bruno will be up for that? Uh, I guess we should contact him and like see, uh, like, and also report what we found so far. Okay then, uh, do your best, guys. I'll be uh, waiting for you to tell me what happened. Yep, got it. Okay then, let's uh, contact the old man. Hey, I'm from uh, Arkwright Resolution Offices. Oh, uh, in that case, uh, like, good. Wait, was that it? How was it? Well, for now, we're gonna be meeting uh, on top of the bridge in Riverside. Uh, we can, like, talk to him properly there. Uh, I see, in that case, let's go. The hell? I feel like that wasn't really much of a conversation, but I guess maybe they like cut out the middle part. Anyway, let's uh Since we're in this place already, I might as well start. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Yeah, so this is uh the lady who's searching for her boyfriend. Let's see what she has to say for herself. Hey, are you the are you Amy that uh like requested something of us? We're from uh Art Cried Resolution Offices. Oh, so you're the uh, the rumored. Oh, thank goodness you came. Uh, sorry, can I like explain what I want you to do quickly? Yeah, of course. Uh, what you want us to do is search for your like boyfriend or your lover who went missing a while ago, right? Can you uh, tell us like what happened uh, in the events leading up to when he vanished? Uh, yes. First off, his name is Mark, and I've been dating him for four years. However, he's uh. <laughs> he's kind of a punk. He's done like illegal jobs and stuff like that and has kind of uh, been doing bad things for a while now. And that's why when I found out he'd gone missing, I couldn't really contact the police. I see, so that's why you requested the Spriggan's help. Oh, but uh, please don't misunderstand. I know I said he's a punk, but he has like a really honest uh, personality and he never does anything like out of line. Ever since we started dating, he promised he'd like change for the better. And I've even, uh, like, hoped to get married to him in the future. Anyway, about a month ago, he told me that he, like, finished preparations to leave his, like, uh, delinquents group. But after that, I haven't been able to get in contact with him once. So he went missing right as he tried to leave, like, his group of delinquents, huh? I can think of a few things, but, uh, this definitely smells. By the way, uh, do you know the team name of that, like, group of thugs? Yes, I think they were called, like, Desire or something. Uh, but my boyfriend wouldn't tell me anything, like, specific, so I only know the name. Desire? Then, uh, you know it? Yeah, I sometimes hear their name from time to time, but I don't know really anything about them. But if we're taking on this request, we should probably investigate that side first. I also did my best to investigate, but I couldn't find out where Mark was. I don't have anyone else to rely on. Please accept this request. We get Law and Grey for this. Yeah, let's do it. I uh, got it, we'll like, take it on. <sighs> Thank you so much. Yeah, uh, it's still too early for that. Let's uh, go over what we know. First, this Mark guy uh, tried to like, wash his hands of this Desire group. 
and then uh, he went like missing and you haven't heard from him for a month. Is that about right? Maybe something happened like when he tried to leave uh, his group. In order to investigate that, we should probably like talk to someone who knows about this desire group. Yeah, in that case, I have like an idea of who we can ask. If we're talking about a thug, then uh, this person has probably like helped them out with their weapons and stuff. Let's uh, go pay a visit to a certain gun shop in a certain uh, department store on the the station uh, street. Uh, you guys are so reliable. Uh, I'm so glad I request this of you. Uh, please find my mark for me. Yeah, and when we find something, we'll uh, contact you. Are we going to the station, uh, the central station street again, huh? I feel like all our side quests are leading us there. Not that. Why am I always doing this shit? Wait, we gotta go to Riverside first, though. And then the side quest will resume. Will, uh, wait, what's the word? Uh, not resume. Like, conclude. There we go. Then, like, all of our side quests are, like, concluding in, uh, like, the central station place. But yeah, let's go pick up our client this time. I don't know why we couldn't have just told him over the phone, like, where to meet us, but whatever. Hello. I've been waiting for you, Spriggan. You still haven't returned that locket, I see, but, uh, like, what do you want to talk about? Uh, I wanted to report to you what we found, first of all. If we're, like, wrong about any of this, then tell us. Uh, let's hear it, then. Uh, Van and Ferry told him about the, like, terrorist uh, incident that happened at the hotel, and told him that they managed to, like, get in contact with uh, Roderick, the guy who, like, survived. Uh, you managed to find out a lot in such a short amount of time. You said that you just, like, raided the hotel to, like, steal, but this picture belonged to someone who died in a terrorist attack. So at first, we were, like, worried that you were the actual terrorist, but it seems we were wrong about that. Now, this is just my speculation, but I reckon that you were actually, like, robbing that hotel for real. And then you managed to, like, uh, run into, like, a terrorist attack completely by accident. Is that wrong? Oh, that's stupid. Did you just make that up? Or at least that's what I want to say, but that's exactly what happened. Ah, oh, so we were right. So you're that certain, like, guy that came to interfere who saved uh, Roderick when he was still a child. <laughs> it's nothing like that. I, I never planned to save the kid. After all, if anything, uh, people dying there actually helped me, like, steal what I wanted to get. Yeah, you're scum, but at least you're honest, and I guess this locket is proof of that. But you see, uh, Roderick is actually really hoping to meet with you. He what? We're actually just about to go and return the locket to him, but uh, he wanted us to bring you. How foolish. How could I meet him after what I did? But uh, Bruno, isn't it true that you were like really worried about him? That's why you wanted us to find the child uh, in the picture and return this to him, right? Yeah, I think you should uh, just like grit your teeth and uh, meet him. Uh, it's not that simple. I just need, like, one more push. Oh. I could just, like, force him to come with us since he's the one that, like, stole the locket, but... But if that won't work, then we could bring him with us but pretend that he's, uh, someone other than the thief. So I get to choose here. Uh, what should, like, we say when, uh, we, like, make him meet the guy kind of thing? So triangle is, like, take him, uh as like the thief or square is like pretend he's someone else i think square will like get us more uh chaos i'm gonna go with that uh it can't be helped let's like pretend he's someone else and like uh get him to meet with the client or not the wait what oh yeah uh if you're gonna be so stubborn then whatever you can like pretend that you're not the thief who stole it and like meet with the guy what do you mean the one who stole that locket was uh, someone else. You just managed to like buy that locket off the black market from him. And then you saw that there was a picture in it, so you wanted to like give it back to the guy that it belonged to. If we go with that, then won't you be able to like meet with this guy normally? Hmm. Fine, uh, in that case, I'll do it. Oh, so I guess we're like actually going right now.
I wasn't actually planning on ending the side quest right now, but I guess this works out. Because I worry that we're going to get some like story stuff after I finish a side quest or two, since we still haven't found our like main quest. Uh, are you perhaps... Uh, yeah, we're from Ark Ride Resolution Offices. Are you, uh, Roderick? Yes, my name is Roderick. I'm the only survivor of that awful case, uh, although I was just a child at the time. Uh, first, I want to return this locket to you. Van uh, gave the locket to Roderick. Ah, thank you so much. Uh, this is I'm going to treasure this for the rest of my life. And uh, is that person over there the one who like had this locket? Yes, uh, he's called Bruno. He managed to get this locket off the black market and wanted to return it to uh, the guy it belonged to. But he's not the one that actually stole it, so don't like misunderstand. Oh, I see. That's unfortunate. What do you mean, unfortunate? If I was able to meet the one that stole it, I wanted to thank them. <laughs> uh, thank them? <laughs> that guy's scum who even, like, stole stuff uh, after, like, a terrorist attack. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure, but he's also the one who saved me. He's like a hero, and I owe him my life. <laughs> a petty thief is your hero? That day, or that night, I guess, uh, I woke up in the middle of the night and uh, saw two men standing next to my parents' bed. And my parents were, like, covered in blood, and I was so scared I couldn't move. But at that moment, a thief appeared, a man. And I made eye contact with that man. He took my hand and, like, took me uh, out of that room. Uh, on the way, though, he did uh, definitely take my mother's locket and uh, put it in his pocket, but <laughs> what a shrewd old man. But that man, when we parted, he said, uh, don't say a word about me. So I didn't say anything about it to the police or the guild. I kept it like hidden inside me until this day. I see, although I don't really understand why you do so much for him after he stole your like uh, mother's memento. <laughs> well, the only thing he stole was uh, that locket in the end. You idiot, there's no way someone like that could be your hero. He probably didn't even think it was like a murder scene and just like took you out for the hell of it or something. <laughs> but even still, it's uh, that doesn't change the fact that he saved my life. If you do somehow manage to find out who uh, like sold that locket off to the black market, please like message me. Or, oh no, he meant like uh, message him. He said like, uh, like tell him that you're my hero and thank you so much. Yeah, if we find out, then sure. Okay, then. I'll be leaving here. Uh, thanks a lot, Bruno. <laughs> you have no reason to thank me for anything. So, are you okay with this? Yeah, of course. <laughs> He's kind of a weirdo. I wasn't expecting that. But someone like that who lives honestly shouldn't ever be bowing their head to someone in the underworld like me. Huh, I see. Alright then, I'm gonna be off to you. Uh, I'll make sure to pay you the fee. Yeah, thanks. Uh, you really helped me out there. Thanks a lot. Aww. <laughs> Honestly, what a perverse old man. But with this, we uh, managed to solve it, and that's good. After that, Van, uh, like, told uh, uh, Sullivan about it too. And she said as long as there's no, like, chance of it becoming a big thing, then she won't, like, make a big deal of it. And thus, the case surrounding the former thief and the locket ended peacefully. I really liked that quest. That was really sweet at the end there. And with that, I think... Wait, I got more gray than chaos? The fuck? Well, it doesn't matter because they both leveled up anyway. And we're, we're level two. We apparently level three is where I'm aiming for. So you could say we're more than halfway there now. Sweet. All right. So let's go to Iota and talk to this guy and like end this side quest too, I guess. Uh, hello. I don't have a topic for you. Uh, the shop's name is Iota. And then this owner guy is called uh, Ilhan. 
I think we can safely assume that this is uh, where like we're supposed to go for this puzzle quest thingy. Uh, yo, are you the <laughs> butler Ilhan who uh, serves Count Iota? Wait, are you two the heroes that are coming to save the princess? Yeah, we've uh, brought the three keys. Uh, we just need to hand them over to you, right? <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, these are all the keys that are necessary to like open the princess's confinements. Thank you so much. With this, we can save the princess. All right, then. I guess uh, we're done. <laughs> but uh, are you going to be okay, like, betraying the Count like this? Indeed. Uh, at worst case, I'll be, like, paying for this with my life. However, uh, I was once saved by the royal family, so I have no reason to, like, hesitate. Okay, then. I'll go and, uh, s like, free the princess. So. Can you wait a minute? Yeah, sure. <laughs> The hell? Is he gonna get us like a special drink or something? That'd be kind of cool. Uh, so I, <laughs> I wonder who's gonna be uh, playing the the princess. I wonder if she'll be wearing like a really pretty dress. Uh, <laughs> thank you for waiting. I brought the princess. Oh, we waited for. You. Mm. Oh, it's Percy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> good day to you. I hear that you are the ones who uh, saved me. <laughs> And he's speaking like really feminine too. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I represent the Edith Kingdom uh, when I say thank you so much. <clears throat> Come on, put some effort into your like final role. <laughs> uh, I feel like all the cool atmosphere is just wasted now. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, we couldn't prepare a proper like princess role. Uh, Ilhan, thank you so much for like helping out with this. <laughs> uh, no, it was, it was fun getting to participate. If you do this again, then uh, please let me participate again. All right, then, uh, like, enjoy yourselves, guys. Okay, then, uh, can I hear your thoughts on my puzzle game? To sum it up briefly, it was uh, surprisingly interesting. It wasn't just the puzzle elements. You also had, like, proper world building and stuff, which I liked. And it was cool how you got, like, residents of the city to play the uh, parts of, like, each, uh, like, character. I was worried that people wouldn't like this uh, style of puzzle game, but just by looking at you, it seems that, uh, like, I don't know, I won't have to worry about that. Also, uh, this time, like, the theme was, like, princesses and kingdoms, but if you, like, messed around with a the theme, you could probably do a bunch of interesting stuff, so I'm really looking forward to your next one. Yes, exactly, that's exactly what I'm going for. I don't know if it's just that people think that puzzle games are hard to get into, but not a lot of people, like, share my interest for it. But if I make a puzzle game with a theme that everyone likes, then uh, a lot more people will be able to enjoy, like, puzzle games. And it's amazing that you just do something like this as a hobby. Oh, well, in the future, I want to start up my own, like, event organizing company and, like, organize these kind of things. But anyway, after getting a good review from the rumored Spriggan, uh, I feel like I got a lot more confidence. I'm gonna head home and start, like, uh, making a new game after hearing your opinions. Or, like, well, whatever. Alright then. And do we get lore for this? I kinda wanna level up my lore. Wait, only one point? Bruh. Weak. Yeah, I figured this would happen. Oh, I got mail. Uh, who's it from? Uh, it seems like it's a subcontract from CID. And it's another dangerous monster. Okay, it says, uh, like in Memorial Park, there's a monster, huh? Uh, it says that the place is in Dilk, uh, Memorial Park, like in the deep past, but they haven't, like, confirmed what kind of monster it is. Weird. So we gotta go investigate and take care of an unidentified monster, huh? Uh, this is probably also, like, uh, part of, like, keeping the guild in check. Uh, where we gotta go, though, is, uh, Dilk Memorial Park. A memorial park, so... They have places like that, too? Yeah, it's uh, on the outskirts of the capital. Uh, it's uh, a bit far away and kind of annoying, but whatever. Wait a sec, this message, it's like... It goes on, like, really far down. I guess they press the enter key a bunch of times. Peace. This is... <laughs> uh, P.S. Like, make sure to treasure your memories. What the hell? Is this like a threat? 
Uh, that guy, he can be a real asshole sometimes. Uh, what? Uh, well, anyway, what are we gonna do? Well, the reward money seems pretty good. We should probably go and settle this before the guild, like, does it first. But we'll need to take the cat. <clears throat> but we'll need to take the car, so once we're done with everything else, let's, uh, go to the garage. The garage! Okay, well, uh, this ended up being quite a long one, but... Anyway, uh, we're gonna end it off now, and then next time, we're gonna finish up the last of the side quests and do Agnes's second Bond event, I think, so... Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you then.